Hey there, Sark here. Um, they've given us an extra week to do Dark Vision. They've re reopened it and they've given us one more week uh, to finish it up. They reset all the scores um, from, from anybody that, that cleared Ruby Rose. They reset those scores. Uh, you, you see I've already gone in and, uh, and done a clear on Ruby Rose to just sort of re reestablish the score that I basically, basically the score that I had before. Um, you know, I don't have Riku. Um, they have essentially fixed the bug. As far as I can tell, they've fixed the bug uh, that allows the overflow that people were, were using to get rank one. So I, I'm not sure what they've done to actually fix that. The boss will still spawn adds uh, or minions. So that wasn't what they fixed. They must have fixed the... Uh, they must have changed the stats on the minions or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, as far as I can tell, Riku is is still sort of the, the top strategy for this one. But um, I wanted to show you guys something that uh, I, I discovered, and I am not going to claim credit for this at all. Um, this, this team that I'm going to show you, all the credit goes to the folks uh, on the, the Reddit server, also known as sort of like the main, uh, the main FF Brave Exvius server, um, but it, it's led by the, the folks on the Reddit server. Um, and specifically to a few folks over there, I believe it was first discovered by Bob Dob on the Reddit server, um, and then it was sort of brainstormed uh, in, in the pot of juicy goodness that is uh, Rose Beef and Resnot. They kind of, all three of those uh, folks kind of came together and figured out this um, this strategy and how to sort of maximize it. So I am not going to take credit for this at all. Um, but I found it very, very cool, and it definitely gave me a, a better opportunity to uh, get a higher score than the team I was using before. Um, I do have three clear videos using different uh, elements and different teams from when it first opened. Those are still completely viable. You can follow those. Uh, they're on my YouTube page, so you can check those out. Um, but this is the one that has thus far gotten me the best possible score that I can get in this current Dark Visions event. So if you don't have Riku, but you have the units that you see here, you can potentially uh, do fairly well uh, in this Dark uh, Dark Visions. Now, there is a bit of RNG factor to this strategy because it does require both minions to be summoned to get the maximum effect. Because the way that this works is we're going to use Behemi to give uh, Ruby Rose cover, uh, physical cover. Now, normally, if you give a boss physical cover and you try to chain on that boss, the chains will break. However, tag chains will not break when you do cover, uh, when you use that. So the tag chains are not going to break. And um, so that will, that will make this, that essentially increases the damage uh, by threefold. All right, if you have both minions on the field, you're basically dealing triple damage to Ruby Rose with these units. And so it can greatly increase your damage output. All right, um, now I will show you the gear at the end um, because I, I, like I said, there is some RNG to it. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, exit out and come back until I get three minions, but I, I wanna make sure there's at least one minion on the field. I haven't yet gotten a situation where there are three minions on the field. Uh, or, or both minions on there, but we're gonna try it and I'll show you with at least one minion on the field, all right? So let's go ahead and get in there. All right, so Wilk's gonna go ahead and do one stack on his LB. Uh, Melissa is going to go ahead and help him refill with a triple bar darkja. Um, Payne is going to do Rallying Cry again to help Wilk refill. Um, so is Yuffie. Zuru is going to start singing. Uh, Behemi is just going to do his cover. Uh, cover, Departed Kingdom for the uh, Ailment Immunity, and King's Barrier for the Elemental Resists. So we have one minion, that's great. Uh, that's all we really need, so I'm, I'm confident that we can go ahead and get through this. Um, this turn, Yuffie will do another rallying cry. Now we have 
you see Wilkes LB is already full, but it's not always consistently full. So I usually just have them doing a uh, rallying cry here. So if your Wilk isn't full, go ahead and do another two rallying cries. They don't need to do anything else this turn. Um, since he's full, we'll go ahead and do his rock style quake blade. Uh, I'll have Yuffie do, and Dark Pain do their uh, rallying cry again. Um, Melissa, ba -ba -ba. this turn she can do, oh, this turn she's going to do her uh, LB on herself. All right, because we want to get that mod boost up and ready on turn five for Chizuru. Behemi, just going to do protect the weak. Uh, we'll do departed kingdom's mantle again, frilly and ferocious. And Behemi is 100% evade, so none of this will affect him. The party is all 100% dark and lightning resist for uh, for the, sorry, wind and lightning, uh, wind and lightning resist for the damage on that turn too. So just make sure they're all resistant to that. Uh, Wilk now has his 90% break ready. Uh, dark Pain can do her normal form LB. Uh, Yuffie can do her normal form LB. We'll go ahead and do those. All right, Melissa is going to do her Abyssal Blessing to ramp. Um, we'll do, uh, we'll just do Chronic Flow for some LB fill. And was there something else I was gonna do on this one? Mm, can't remember. Mm, how about a, uh, just another Bar Dark Jet to uh, help. Dark Knight Pain get her LB back up and running next turn. All right, uh, Behemi can do, uh, he can do whatever, I guess. Uh, we'll just have him re up his cover. Is this really ferocious? That's fine. Oh, wait, actually, no, no, we'll save that for next turn. Never mind. She summoned the Reaper again, and since we already have the, the skeleton on the field, uh, he we don't get an extra extra minion. So close, so close to getting both minions on the field. That that was a close one. All right. Um. Now Melissa is going to do a human killer on Yuffie. Uh, we can do. Then we can do another bar Darkja. Double Bar Dark Jeff for Dark Knight Pain, although she probably won't need it. She's got Tyvus' Spirit. Uh, Chizuru will do Eastern Winds. Um, we'll do Staunch Samurai and Focus Strength for the 400% uh, attack buffs on everybody because we have the 300% LB damage buff. We need the 400% attack buff um, for next turn. So that's going to be more important than Tyvus' Spirit on her. All right, now Behemi's gonna do what he was born to do and give Ruby Rose cover with Generations of Behemoths. And then we'll do a double royal rake to get rid of the Mirage stacks that the skeleton put up on her. All right, Yuffie is gonna prepare with Elemental Burst, Fill LB, and this is what you get for crossing a ninja. Okay, so that should be good. And... Yep, we should be good to go here. Um, if the beast had been summoned, we would also put... Uh, actually, no, never mind. Sorry. We wouldn't do any beast killer because all all the attacks are going to hit Ruby Rose. So you don't even need the, uh, the killers to go with. All right, so now we have our, um, our full dark amp. All right, and we're ready to give Chizuru the mod boost on seconds of support. All right, we will also give her the human killer. And uh, just for get some shiggles, well, there we go. Okay. So, now, all of these uh, LBs are AOE tag chains. And that's, it has to be an AOE tag chain to really get the full effect here. 
all right? Because tag chains will not break. Um, and since they're AOE, that means they will double up. All right, now Wilk, his LB is of course single target. It is uh, not a tag chaining, but that is okay. Since it's single target, it's not gonna matter. And then um, we'll just have Bahimi do some triple bolting strike uh, just to, yeah, just to sort of create some chains in there. All right, so make sure you're targeting Ruby Rose, obviously, and then uh, I'll just do Wilk and Chizuru together, followed by uh, King Bahimi, and then Payne and Yuffie. This should get us like a nice, it's gonna be well over 100 chains, I guess like 196 or something, yeah. And I've been getting on average around 14 billion with just the skeleton, so if we had the, the curl on the field as well. Um, oh, that was a low roll. I usually get closer to 14 bill. But if, if we had the curl on the field, we could get upwards of 20 billion with this team. All right, because you, you essentially take half of whatever your final damage is and add that onto your final damage to get uh, a, a threefold increase, right? Um, let's see, who are the winners there? Yeah, usually Yuffie is the winner. Um, and then Chizuru and Pain. Yeah, Pain did a low roll, so did Chizuru. But that's all right. Um, that's just basically how how that works. So if you can get both minions on the field, that'll be uh, much much better damage output. And I don't know if it's going to compete with Riku teams or not. Um, I imagine with really whaled out gear, it potentially could, but I'm not really sure. Um, but anyways, here's the gear that we're playing with with these guys. So, um, in her normal form, Lion Emblem, that's for the Rallying Cry. Um, now, this is a limited item from Mont, um, but we've gotten a f bunch of free Monts in the, in the past. But if you don't have a Lion, uh, Lion Emblem, you can always just have Yuffie hit the boss to try and get it to drop some crisps, and then that just adds a little extra RNG to the fight, which I know is not fun, but, you know, that's what you gotta do if you don't have the Lion Emblem, right? In her Brave Shift form, just full-on damage. Um, you know, everything that I could, uh, put in there, um, you know, this vision card is just to give her, um, you know, the, the 500 static, um, static attack, because it's one of the highest cards that I have with the static attack on it. Uh, just make sure she's maxed out on her killers, it's just human, so just, that's all you have to do is focus on human, 300% LB damage, and then you're good to go there. Um, obviously, an EX3 Yuffie would do even better. Mine's just EX2. Um, she doesn't have to be EX2 either um, because you're not using her LB until turn 3, so you could potentially get away with an EX1 Yuffie and still do all right. Uh, Behemi is just, he's really geared for death resist, 100% um, evasion. Um, make sure he's got some, uh, some resists so that he resists all the uh, magic damage. And then that's pretty much it. And his uh, pretty much the same gear in his Brave Shift form too. Nothing really fancy going on here. Uh, he's just there for that special ability. That's it. Uh, Melissa, nothing really special going on in her kit. I had all this LB fill gear on her before because I didn't have her EX2. Now I have her EX2, so I don't have to worry about filling up her LB uh, by turn two. But if your Melissa is only EX1. You'll definitely want as much LB fill gear as you can put on her to make sure she has her LB up and ready on turn two. Okay, and that's all you have to worry about for Melissa. Give her some elemental resists, of course, um, but that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Wilk is here to, um, you know, basically for the 90% defense break, um, but, you know, you can gear him to do a little bit of damage, so I did gear him for human killers, which he caps very, very easily. Um, if you have uh, Titus's STMR, um, definitely put that on him in the normal form, and then shift him into Brave Shift on turn one, and that 100 times mod boost will impact and greatly improve his Brave Shifted LB and get, you know just get you a little bit of extra damage out of him. I don't have it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, Chizuru, um, yeah, basically just some cow gear to get her as, as much attack as I could get. Fill her up on Man Eater. Cool Smile to really buff up her LB mod. 300% um, human, 300% LB damage, and that's all you gotta worry about. In her normal form, just give her, uh, I want it to go with you. That's it. That's all she needs in her normal form. And then just enough resists to make sure that uh, when Behemi does his 80% across the board elemental resists, everyone's covered for the lightning and wind damage. 
um, pain is um, yeah, in a normal form, lion emblem is really the only thing you need. Um, and then Tyvis' spirit to boost up her modifier on her Brave Shifted LB. Um, so I just gave her the best vision card that I had for LB damage buff and, uh, and some, some static attack. And then, oh, that's why she rolled so low. Oh, I totally forgot. I upgraded my, uh, I upgraded my, my crown. Oh, man. Well, yeah, that, that's all right. I'll go, I'm going to have to rerun it anyways until I get a, uh, until I get the, the beast to show up. But yeah, so anyways, that's good to know. So yeah, in her brave shifted form, just as much, uh, attack as you can stuff in there. Um, so obviously wielding a uh, katana because we've got Chizuru providing the katana in peril. So that's really, really important. 2B does not work on this strategy because 2B's chain, uh, tag chaining LB is single target. So it will not double dip on damage for, for every minion that comes up. All right, so that's why you're not seeing 2B in here in this strategy, okay? So Pain, her Brave Shifted LB is a tag chain um, and it is AOE. And obviously Tyvis' spirit double dips so that she gets 30 on both of those modifiers right there uh, to pump it up. Also, her normal form LB does a mod boost, a 170 times mod boost, which also double dips. So that's an extra 340, 340 times mod on her Brave Shifted LB, which is already sitting at 210. So that's a five, uh, 550. And then you add in Tyvus' Spirit, that makes it a 610 times modifier boost, which is very, very nice. You can also give her Tyvus's, uh, sorry, uh, Titus's, you can also give her Titus's SDMR in her normal form, and that will give her an extra 200 times modifier boost. Would probably be better on her than on, uh, than on the other guy, Wilk, right? So there's there's room for improvement. There's room to make this team even better and do even better than what you're seeing here. Um, you know, I am not a whale, so I don't have all the best gear for the for the strategy. But this is still the the. I just happen to have the units to make this work for me, and uh, I'm I'm really glad. Uh, thank you again, Bob Dob, Res, Resnot, and Rose Beef. You guys uh, are awesome for coming up with this strategy and brainstorming it. Um, it's it's going to be the best that I can do in this particular Dark Visions event. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, I, I'm just going to keep re-rolling until I get the, the curl to show up, and then I'm going to take that. Whatever I get on that roll, I'm done. I'm not going to sit here and, and do this Dark Visions for an entire week. We've got Clash of Wills going on, so all I want is to have both minions on the field one time, and then I'm done, right? Um, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens, and thank you guys so much for following me. I will see you on the other side.